Godrej Aerospace has signed a pact with a Munich-based industrial 3D printing solutions provider to develop a 3D printing and additive technology-based manufacturing ecosystem in India. Boko Haram has destroyed Nigerian Army's VT-4 third-generation tank in a battle, raising questions about the effectiveness of the Chinese tank, and 679 of which have been ordered by Pakistan Army. South Korean firm Hanwha Aerospace has signed a $253.6 million deal to export 100 K9 self-propelled howitzers to Indian Army, that will be built at Larsen and Tubro facility with 60% localization, and the delivery will be completed by September 2030. Indian Navy's six next-generation missile vessels being built at Cochin Shipyard, will be the first to receive the indigenously developed vertical launch short-range surface-to-air missile. Solar Industries has embarked on the development of two advanced variants of loitering munition known as Nagistra 1B and Nagistra 1C, that will be tailored to meet specific requirements outlined by the Indian Army. Bharat Forge has operationalized a massive new 3 lakh square feet facility near Pune, dedicated to the production of advanced indigenous artillery systems. Paris Defense has signed a memorandum of understanding with an Israeli company Microcon Vision, to incorporate indigenous content in advanced drone camera technology, and bring the technology to India at 50% reduced costs. India and Sri Lanka are set to sign a MOU tomorrow, that will be an umbrella agreement to bring all bilateral defense cooperation under one framework pact. Hyderabad-based VEM Technologies has announced, that the company has been selected for manufacturing specific sections of the AMCA fuselage for the initial five prototypes, and the company's involvement will expand as the supply chain matures. The Indian Air Force will place an initial order for 40 AMCA Mark I jets once the trials of the five AMCA prototypes are completed, that are currently in various stages of design and development. Officials also said, that the supply chain for the AMCA is still being established, and clear suppliers will be identified as the aircraft progresses toward production, and more companies will join the program as it advances. The first AMCA prototype is slated for rollout by late 2026, and the first flight is planned for 2028, and the program is on a tight schedule to achieve certification by 2032 and induction by 2034. After the chairman of Godrej Aerospace and Larsen and Tubro, the chairman of Kalyani Group has said, that there is a need for private sector companies to unite in a collaborative effort, to co-develop a 110 kN thrust engine for the AMCA program. He also added, that a consortium of private sector companies should be created, that will pool in their expertise and resources to tackle the technological challenges of the engine. While Hindustan Aeronautics bears primary responsibility for the Dhruv helicopter crash, French firm Safran's involvement as a key supplier has drawn attention. Defense experts and military officials are examining whether the Sakti engine's integration with the Dhruv platform has introduced unforeseen vulnerabilities, and issues such as engine reliability maintenance protocols and compatibility with the helicopter's overall design are currently being scrutinized. Today's top 3 comments.